Hello, welcome to today's Daily Devo. My name is Gabby and today I will be talking about who God is. Um, I will be reading from Jeremiah chapter 29 and I will start off with a personal story. So I once promised a friend she could borrow my car um, while I was out of town and several weeks later um, another friend texts me assuming that this offer was also extended out to her. Uh, this assumption took me by surprise and I had to explain to her that that offer was for that specific situation. Um, so all promises are given in context and that context matter. So every promise we come up in scripture helps us know God better. But when we assume that the promises in the Old Testament apply directly into our context, we forget that these promises are being made to a specific person or a specific group under unique circumstances. So in Jeremiah chapter 29, um, it is written for the people of Judah who are being taken into captivity by the king of Babylon. God sends a message to this specific group of people um, through the prophet Jeremiah. Um, he gives them the commands that uh, for how they are to live while being in exile and um, that the exile will last 70 years. So as I was reading chapter 29, I kind of uh, imagined the discouragement that these people may have felt. Um, yet God promises to restore them. Um, in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it reads, For I know the plans I have for you, plans for your well-being, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. God tells the people of Judah his plans for their future when they call out to God, when their hearts have repented and turned away from the evil that sent them into exile. He will hear them and be found by them. So what does this specific promise made at a specific time to a specific group of people tell us specifically about the character of God? Well, in Jeremiah's words, it tells us that we serve a God who cares about the future plans of his people. Through the promises he made to the exiles in Judah, we see a God who makes a habit of restoring us even when our hearts rebel against him over and over again. God's character and heart are displayed in every page of the Old Testament. The way he pursues, cares for, and restores Israel tells us about the God we serve one who is gracious and full of compassion and mercy. More than the promises made under certain circumstances to specific people in the Old Testament, we must cling to him and his proven character. So today, I want to remind you, in the midst of uncertainty, we can be confident of one thing, and that one thing is God remains the same. God will always be God. I bless you and I hope that you find encouragement in all of this.